uh, a review on the build quality uh, of the Skywatcher Star Travel 120 millimeter refractor telescope um, from a complete novice. So I'm not going to go into how good it is in looking at space and blah, 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 because I don't know. So I'm a novice, but I'm just giving somebody like me when I was looking for a telescope, I've just spent a week absolutely scratching my head, going, watching review after review after review of people that are selling them or have channels that are sponsored. And I just couldn't find a review from somebody who's just bought one. So I'm a novice. Um, before I bought this, all I've had was the uh, Skymaster multi-coated binoculars, which, to be fair, are really, really good for looking at the moon for a novice. Um, they are really good. I think that whole setup was about 150 quid. But, uh, yeah, I used that last year. Right, so back to this. Uh, after about a week of looking at everything and checking reviews and blah, 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 I decided to go for this, which is the 120 refractor. I went for this mount, not the equatorial mount. Uh, price wasn't a problem. The equatorial mount was, I think, it was about 150 quid more. That wasn't a problem. But being a novice, I did not want to, when I pop it outside and go, right, I'm going to do a bit tonight because I, I, I'm not, you know, pop a caravan and it's going to spend hours, you know, picking out stars. I'm just a novice. I didn't want to have to set it up with a point in the sky and set the thing up every time I took it out, which you've got to do with the equatorial mounts. With this mount, red dot, point at what you want to look at, and then you've got the fine adjustments for up and across the sky, which is for a novice is perfect. I don't need any more. You know, maybe two, three years down the line, if I'm really into it, fine, I'll just upgrade the mount. It's not a problem. It goes on this um, tripod, so it really isn't a problem. But uh, from that mount, for me, I've had it outside. I've been checking things a mile away out at sea because I can see the ocean here. It's fine. Setting up the red dot, simple for a novice i didn't want the the one you just look through the spotter so the red dot literally look through the red dot both eyes open at something get it in the center look back through your eyepiece line them up with your adjustment bingo done took about two minutes to line up excellent um they come with a i think it's a 10 and a 20 mil eyepiece obviously they're your basics um what I did do is from Rom Valley Optics, I bought all this set. Uh, I bought myself some some bits. I bought myself for wide views of deep space, the two inch and the uh, 32 mil eyepiece. Um, I bought those. I also bought for the moon, really looking close up at the planets, the 32, uh, 3.2 mil, sorry. I bought a Barlow lens. I bought a mil, uh, moon filter. And this is just the two eyepieces it came with, which was, uh, sorry, a 25 and a 10, not a 20. So, uh, yeah, I got all those bits from Ron Valley Optics as well. They were really, really helpful. The case came from Amazon for 19 quid. Right, back to the build quality of this. Uh, I had a telescope about 20 years ago, as you do, but I bought one of those ones that were 200 quid. And to be fair, it, it weren't much copper. I didn't like them. But so anyway... I've gone for this one. I think the scope with this mount and tripod, the telescope with this mount and tripod, red dot, the deal they're doing, I think it came in at about 380. Don't hold me to that, but it was three something. Um, but with all my extra lenses I wanted to buy and everything else, it all came in at 550, uh, 575, sorry. Um, but that's with everything. There's no point, from a novice point of view, in buying a scope and then looking through your, your basics or your cheap eyepieces, I don't believe, because you can get disheartened quite quick. Um, so what I did was, in the money I saved by not buying the equatorial mount, I managed to buy all the lenses. Um, so the equatorial mount would have made no difference to me at my stage in stargazing, but to have the extra lenses that I can see close up on the moon, I can be able to see Saturn rings really well and, <clears throat> and and with the big two inch, I'll be able to really open up and see deep into space. That's more important to me than having the equatorial mount at this stage. Uh, again, sorry to go back to this. Build quality is really good. It's uh, aluminium. Excuse the two tights I've got over the edge of the thingy, but they're just for extra dust 
protection. Um, they do come with your cases, but uh, no harm in putting those on if it's going to sit out like that. <clears throat> so I've put those on. But yeah, from a novice point of view, easy setup, brain dead. I mean, it really is simple setup, five minutes, no gaffing about. And with your little adjustments, I've been outside, I've checked during the day, things in the distance, and the little adjustments work absolutely perfect for, for, for someone like myself. Um, so, yeah, really looking forward to getting out in the night skies. At the moment, we've had a week of absolute rain which is unusual but i'm in the highlands of scotland so there's no light pollution where i am i have no neighbors so i'm really looking forward to getting this out and i'll do a review on on how good it is um as a telescope they do this they do this exact telescope uh this is a 600 uh long uh and i think they do this in a meter because i wanted the longer one um, but it was out of stock, to be honest. So it's exactly the same, but I wanted the longer one. Typical bloke, <clears throat> bigger's better. Oh, I want the bigger one better. In this case, it actually is. But in hindsight, for a novice like myself, that size is perfect. It doesn't take up too much room. The meter one would have been just ridiculous on there. So um, <clears throat> in that sense, I'm glad I went with this. They're both 120s. <clears throat> it's just at one 600 long and one's uh, a meter long this is the 600 so yeah i hope this helps somebody out from a novice point of view it really is simple to put together it, the quality seems to be there um this is a novice to intermediate so i didn't want to buy one of the ones that are, you know 129 quid or 150 quid and i didn't go with the ones with the computer inside and the cell store ones that you can look at the skies and find it on your computer i heard a lot of stories about the apps are not working and so on and what you actually i've i from reviews i found you're not getting the better telescope that the price at say 250 quid you're paying for the app and the electronics as well well i'd rather have the good telescope and just put an app on my phone and i can point it in the sky and find what i want so um the, an app on your phone's better so anyway, there you go. This is the Skywatcher Star Travel 120 quality review, not use review. Quality, from what I can see, is very, very good. Uh, I'm really, really happy with it. For, for the money I paid, 570 all in with all my lenses and everything else, my Barlow and moon filters. Uh, yeah, I'm really over the moon. So hope this helps somebody um, from a complete novice. Buying a telescope.